everybody welcome so here we are with another review I am going to be doing a designer dupe haul that I've been waiting so long to do and also our review on a smartwatch and it's late so if I get tongue-tied don't mind me um, so if you are new here thank you so much for coming if you are returning thanks for coming back I appreciate you uh, I hope you enjoy all of my videos and if you are not a subscriber yet, please uh, do so. It's free, just subscribe down below somewhere and um, maybe like, give me, give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. But, um, so we're gonna get into it. Uh, first we have this smartwatch. Now I've been holding on to this because I wanted to test it out because I had no idea how to use it. I don't have an Apple watch. I don't typically wear watches, but this one looks like an Apple watch for sure. Now the time is not correct, so I have to fix that. Um, I thought I had it charging this whole time for the last few hours, but apparently I wasn't. So we are now on 20%, which should give me plenty of battery to show you. But this is the watch, it is pink. This is the charging port. And it just kind of like connects magnetically to that. And it'll charge. This side button here turns it on. And then it gives you different things you can do. It's hard to do this backwards. So let me go to it. There's activity, phone, Alexa, workout. Workout records, heart rate, SPO2, stress, sleep, breathe, clock, weather, cycle tracking, music, camera, find phone, settings. So it has many, many options. And I've tried most of them, I would say, probably other than, what haven't I tried? I didn't try the clock or the weather but I have tried the stress, the heart rate, Alexa. I haven't tried the phone, but you do get texts on this, on this uh, watch. It will vibrate when it's on your wrist. Now, the only problem that I had with it is that it's kind of small. Well, my wrist is kind of small. So I have to put it on the very last one you see it here so I could use another hole poked in it so when I have it on my wrist sometimes uh, it doesn't calculate correctly because it's a little bit too loose and in order to do your heart rate it has to be tight on your wrist so it'll tell me you know like tighten tighten the watch so that the heart rate will work better Right now it's calculating. Okay, so it came in this box. Alexa built in. It came with a charger. And it came with instructions that were fairly simple. Basically what it wants you to do is download a um, an app that will track your workouts, your heart rate. It basically tracks everything on the, the watch, I believe. Okay, so right now I'm at, can you see that weird angle? 85 beats per minute. Uh, tells you how to turn it on, turn it off. Doesn't really tell you how to do all of the functions. So that's kind of something that you would have to test out on your own, which I've done most of them, like I said, but the app helps you a little bit. And this is an Amazon product. It was sent to me from Amazon, which is why it has Alexa built in. Let me see. Okay. It takes the very fit app. So scan here to download the very fit app. And I believe this watch is $39.99. 
it upside down? No. So there you have it, but I like it. I really do. I've been wearing it to work. Uh, I know you can check text messages, but I don't think you can reply. I'm not sure yet. That's something I'm still working on, but it's a very nice watch. I do like it. I did review another watch, which was the face of the watch was a little bit bigger, which was okay, but I prefer to have a smaller watch because my wrist is so tiny. So it looks like uh, too big on my wrist if it's if the watch itself is too big, obviously. So let's get into it. Oh, my nails are Olive and June. Can you see? And they're really pretty. And they're, what is this shape? Almond shaped? I like them a lot. And they're not too long, which is great. Hopefully they stay on, but they do, Olive and June does give you a lot of nails. So if they ever fall off, although I noticed a lot of the nails in this package were very big. So I was having a hard time trying to, my nails are small. I was having a hard time trying to find uh, ones that would actually fit some of my smaller fingers. So, I mean, there was one nail in there that was like, no joke this big and then I'm thinking okay maybe you can use that like because they have toenails um but then I'm thinking there's no way there's no way that would be because they're pointy so you couldn't do that so I don't know unless you have a, a thumbnail that's that wide which you know if you do you do so I'm gonna cut this bag open let's see what we have I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to do this stuff because I was never sure what, I, I'm never real sure what haul to do. I'm so indecisive. So, you know, I have some of my stuff back here on the floor, but I kind of put it in piles, like is what I want, which haul to do. So here we are doing a designer haul in Timu PJs. They're comfy. I like them not very designered out right now but it is what it is okay so this is a sweatshirt it's a black hoodie zip up two front pockets now the back is what was cute and I liked it See what it says? That's cool. And it's kind of that spongy material, but not. Like it's it's half spongy, half not. The inside is fleecy. And I got this in a, let's see, a large. So I wanted to have a large so that it was not super tight on me. Now I don't know how I'm going to I'm going to try to try this on, but I don't know how these sleeves are going to work out cuz if I try to pull the sleeves down it gets really Do you see how tight it's getting? And as I'm sitting here, no matter how much I pull the pants up, I'm sitting here and it's I have a little bit of plumber's crack showing, which is kind of uncomfortable. These were eleven fifty nine. Where's the other armhole? Okay. Okay, so this is over a pretty thick shirt. I'm sitting on my bed, so I don't know how I'm how I'll be able to stand up to show you. Okay. I hate when my hoods are like this. I always do this and it drives people crazy. Okay. It's comfortable, it's very comfortable. I'm gonna try to show you the back without showing you my plumber's crack. Can you see? Okay, 
I like it. It is kind of like that shiny material, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I've had worse. And that stuff's really tricky to wash and dry. I suggest you wash it on cold and definitely do not dry it. Definitely hang dry it because I feel like that would shrink up to nothing. You would have a shirt this small by the time you took it out of the dryer. Okay, so we have that. All right. I had a feeling this was not going to be great, but I wanted to give it a shot. So this was $5.93 and it's a purse. This is what it looks like. Okay, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Let's see, I'm gonna open it for you. Okay, the zipper's a little funky. Comes with this chain. Let me show you the design. Okay, so it's pink. It's very small, which I knew it would be. I mean, it was $6. The strap is very cheap. Sorry, I'm like, I don't know why I'm squinting. Well, I do know why I'm squinting, but I don't know why I'm frowning. Maybe because I'm disappointed, but I should have known. $6. Now, there are no pockets on the inside. It's just one, one compartment. And this, I guess if you, there's no way to take this one off, okay? It is adjustable. So I guess you just clip it on to the sides to make it look fancier. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously I wouldn't do that. It's up in my armpit, but I'm just trying to see what it would look like if you were carrying it other than in your hand. Okay, so there we have it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever buy this again, for sure. I may use it for a little purse if I want a pink purse. I mean, this would be the month to do it, October. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, next we have for $7.87, we have, oh, it comes in this cute black little box. Now these are all dupes for designer brands and it's a ring, it's adjustable. Let me see if you can see that. It's a nail and it has a tiny, is it focusing, a tiny little ring of diamonds right here. So let's see, let me take one of my rings off and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I think my fingers are swollen. So that's what it would look like. I got in silver, typically I get gold. Sorry, I'm sniffling, my nose is still stuffy. So I used to wear all silver and then I started recently liking gold. But maybe they ran out of the gold so I got the silver. But this is kind of funny, it's like a It's plastic, but it feels like a gel. And you would just put your jewelry in here, 
clasp it and it holds it shut. I don't know any other way to explain that. But it's a cute look. I think they actually sell these, just these boxes on Timu. I thought I saw somebody haul them. So that ring was $7.87. Was it worth it? I don't think so. So the sweatshirt, good. The ring and the purse, not so good. Okay, next we have a necklace for $2.87. Open it up. Okay. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's an anklet. It is an anklet. Let me show you here the design. So it has that. And then a little gem diamond bead. It has some pearls. And yes, it is an anklet. But it's very pretty. Let me see if I can get this off. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I have a little bit of a headache today. I'm not sure why. I always think it's because maybe I'm dehydrated. I don't know. I have a weird phobia about that. Got a headache. Every time I have a headache, that's how I say it. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. I've got a headache. It just comes out like that. Okay. So it's double layer, which is really pretty. This is gonna be pretty and it's adjustable. This is really pretty, I like this. Okay, two for two. Like two, didn't like two. Hope everybody's doing well. It is what, Monday night, probably about, don't go by my watch, because it's wrong. It's probably about 10 o'clock, maybe? I didn't do much today. I made for dinner, hot dogs and mac and cheese. It was good. I don't know, I'm, I was in the mood for mac and cheese. A lot of times I, I just crave mac and cheese. I don't know why. So that's what we ate for dinner. Yum. Okay, next is a PJ outfit in medium. Now you could probably tell what this is a dupe for. And it comes in a few different colors. I believe it came in this, a light brown, maybe a white. I don't think it came in black. I think it came in three colors. 379 is what I paid for it. Let's take it out and look at it and feel it. See what it smells like. Okay, here are the pans. Has a nice elastic band. The bottoms are cute. They feel real nice and silky. They feel like my um, pillowcases. They feel real silky actually. Okay, so that is the bottom. The top, I thought this was a long sleeve, but it's not. The top is short sleeve, which is fine. Oh, I'm gonna put this on and feel fancy. Has a nice collar, it's like a thicker collar. So it might hold its shape whenever you wash and dry it. I don't know, I don't know if I dry it. I'd have to look on the, I'm sure it doesn't have washing instructions, but maybe. It has a pocket. Buttons are plastic. Yeah. So that should work. I mean, at least it's short sleeve, so it won't it won't be short on my arms. That's cool. That's nice for three seventy nine. That's pretty awesome. 
but I think I got one of those deals on this, so I don't I don't think that it's gonna be three seventy nine anymore. But you never know. Their prices change so much. Okay. Next we have a belt. And I'm probably not gonna take it out of this packaging. I don't think I really need to. It's pretty self explanatory. But it is a V for Valentino. And it's a black belt. I'm trying to see if I can smell. It doesn't smell like leather. It has white stitching. Let me see if it'll. I mean, hopefully it'll fit. No, wrong way. Okay, I'm not used to belts going this way, but if I put the V this way, this is how it has to go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that should definitely fit. This would actually look cute with a black dress or something. With this around it. That would look really cute. Yeah. I think they had this in gold or uh, silver too. Did I tell you the price? $5.39. $5.39 for the Valentino Duke belt. Cardboard junk. Oh, next we have, these are sunglasses. Now, I wear glasses. I don't have contacts yet. I'm planning on getting contacts hopefully soon. Uh, so I got these sunglasses only because I thought they were super cute. I probably won't be able to wear them until I get contacts, but I definitely won't be able to wear them until I get contacts. Never cut towards you. I always forget that rule. That would be horrible if I cut myself on camera. I'd probably just leave, leave the video. So, I mean, I don't do much editing. I wouldn't want to gross anybody out or anything. I'm, I'm used to seeing gore and nasty stuff. But these are the sunglasses. Hey, you can see us. Hey. And what I liked about them were the bees. The bees that are on here. And they look like they are... The frames or the lenses themselves are dark to light and the bees are gold the sides are gold the lens itself is very flat though and it does have these nose pieces which i'm not crazy about but i can deal with it sometimes i don't like them because i feel like they make your glasses stick too far off your face so that's why i always open them up wider so they sit closer to my to my face Hey, ring light. I look like a bug. They're big. They're definitely big. They're cute though. The color is very nice. I mean, I'm, I'm inside at nighttime, but the color in my room is, I mean, these would work outside. They for sure would work. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. It's so hard to get thumbnails. I always, you know, I never know what to use. Like I said, I'm so indecisive. So it's so hard for me to, to choose a thumbnail. For the longest time, I didn't even know you could choose a thumbnail. I just let uh, YouTube, I guess, pick my thumbnail. And I don't know how they knew that, but they just choose uh, like a random clip in your video and just make a thumbnail out of it. But now that I'm able to actually choose a thumbnail, I can never choose what thumbnail I want to use. So that's why I always will fool around and not fool around. I'll always go through my videos and try to pick like a specific little time frame. And then I'm never happy with it. So blah blah blah. Okay. Next we have, and I don't have a pair of these shoes yet. I have so many pairs of shoes, but I don't have a pair of flats. I do not have a pair of just normal casual flat shoes. So I thought I would get these and then they come in a box, which is actually really nice. Let me see if I can find the price. Hold on, it's a little bit too dark. Let me see if I can find a price on here. I knew I wrote it, 
pricey. Okay, so this is what they look like. And they have a bow with the G's for Gucci. And they are like a black patent leather. The sole is very nice. The inside has padding. So I guess $21 isn't so bad. They come with their own separate little dust bags. Now, as far as size, I don't know, a 37. Okay, so hopefully that's a seven because typically I wear a six and a half or seven. Let me try. So I have this to hold it in shape, which is nice. That's what the inside looks like. Okay, I'm gonna try it on here real quick. I got my fuzzy socks on. I'm all ready for bed. Okay, okay. It's kind of a weird angle, but, ooh, they're comfy. They're actually really cute. If I could turn my whole foot, it's very awkward. They're comfy though. They're real cushiony. Oh, guys, these are good. I like these. The material is real flexible and soft. It's not hard. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, so I mean, 20, $21 is definitely worth it, I guess. That's real cute. Nice, I'm happy with those, for sure. Okay, let me put my sock back on before my foot gets cold. Okay. Let's see what else we have. All right. Ooh, my throat made a weird noise. I don't know if you heard that. If you did, you're probably like, ooh, what, ha what happened to her? Wait a minute. I don't know why there's two in this. Okay, so they come in this one package for $377. But there's two little packages within the one package. Okay, so let's open them up. And I believe they are green. This is what they look like. If I can turn them. They almost look like a marbled green. And this is also, obviously everything in this um, order is a dupe for something. So this is a dupe for a designer brand. I honestly don't know if I'm allowed to say the brand or not. So I'm trying, kind of trying not to. If you have any questions, let me know. Ask me in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm not going to be able to do this with my new nails. My nose is itchy. Well, there's one bracelet. Come on. Now, the other one only has one. One little flower. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess you wear them together. I mean, you could wear them separate too. Okay. These PJs are hot. Typically I'm freezing, but these PJs are really hot. Oh, it's a necklace. See that I've had this for so long. I don't even remember what, what I even got. So it's a necklace to match. How cute is that? And the chain is so dainty. I love it. The clasp, if you could see that, has this real pretty thing that dangles down. Let me get my nail out of the way. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Okay, so you get the necklace and the bracelet. So it's a set for $377, good deal. And I don't know if they had silver or not, but I will post all the links down below for sure for everything. Unless it's discontinued. That's the only time you ever not see a link is if it's discontinued. 
or else I will uh, put a link to something similar. I can do that. I think I did that with the PJs on the last haul, the ones, the one piece PJs. So I can do that. And I also will link my code down below, which is FAV40654. And it will save you 50% off your first order for new users only. Users. New users only. Everything's a tongue twister to me anymore. The only problem with that is that you have to choose your items within an hour. So I would suggest going onto a computer or another device, choosing all of your items, writing them down or however you want to do it, whatever's easier for you. And then whenever you go onto the app, whenever you download the app, just search for all of your stuff real quick and add it to your cart and check out within one hour. I don't know why they do that. That's kind of weird, but I guess that's how they're they're getting people uh, because it seems great and then you but you only have an hour to do it so i guess they don't want to lose out on too much money but yeah let's see how many more things i think we have a couple more things how about another clothing item oh two more things more. I honestly can't remember what this is. Same material. Okay, so I found, I have super glue on my finger. It's sticking to the foamy sweatshirt. I found that um, if you like a specific feel of clothing, type of clothing, style of clothing, you can go to the uh, seller's website and actually shop their store. So if you like a sweatshirt and it's really soft and it's really comfy, then you can go on to that sweatshirt or that hat. Cause I did that with the hat, that one, that pink one that said shit show supervisor. I really liked the feel of that hat. It was like real soft and the back was soft. It wasn't scratchy. So I went on to that seller's page and I chose more hats. So if you like you know, same with clothing. If you like specific, use your words, Ash. If you like specific items, like the fabric, go onto their store and you'll be able to find um, similar items with that material. That being said, I feel like that was a very long. this is cute this is very cute and I know they can't completely uh, mock you know specific brands I get that okay so luckily the sweatshirt is black and the writing is black so hopefully you won't be able to see it as much but this is also a hoodie size large okay so it says LV So we got here, Louis. I'm not even gonna try. There is not even a vowel in this word. Let me move up. Beautiful. Now this is a, like a periwinkle, a blue. At least in this light, it's like a bluish purple. It's cute. I mean, other than, you know, I, I don't know. You wear this out in public and somebody's going to be like, what the hell is that? Maliter, Malatera Paris. It's Louis, but it's definitely not a V. Okay has very nice, I don't know what they call these. On shoes, I believe they call them aglets, maybe? I don't know, if I'm wrong, tell me. It's cool, I can take criticism. But they're metal. Zip up. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'll wear it. I'll for sure wear it. I don't really care. I'm not that um, materialistic. $13.98. I just like the color of it, to be honest. Okay, so get my other awkward sleeve out of the way. Okay. So, like I said, whatever whatever Louie's last name is, hopefully won't show because this sweatshirt is black. <clears throat> but it's definitely big. I mean, the sleeves could be longer. I don't know what, what size do I have to order to get sleeves that, do you see what I mean? Like this is a large. Now granted, I have a puffy sweatshirt underneath, but I should be able to do that with a large. I should be able to, um, but the sleeves are a little bit, I mean, they come to my wrist, which is okay. But if I stretch, look at that, like my, I feel like my arm's halfway up to the ceiling. If I stretch, it goes up too far. But I'll still sport it, I'll still wear it. It's comfy, I like the pockets. So you can't see that very much. I wish that just wasn't even there. You know, like, why, just put like a black band on it or something even. I mean, I, I, at least they got Louie right, I guess, I don't know. So there's that. It's not, it's not bad. I'll definitely wear it. It's okay. It's all right. We can work with it. Okay, last item, 247. This is a bracelet that is a, I feel like I'm so close to you guys. And now my hip's starting to hurt. My hip pop yesterday, which it's never done to me in my whole entire life, and now it's been hurting, which is so strange. My daughter has a something that's called snapping hip syndrome, and I have I don't even know what it is or how you get it or how to fix it, but I did take her to the doctor, and every once in a while she'll have to pop each hip, and which is I'm sure not good for you. But we went to the doctor and we got our little printout and it's like snapping hip syndrome and all these exercises you can do. But that's never happened to me, but my hip popped yesterday. I don't remember what I was doing and now it's just sore. So I don't, I think I just probably pulled, like strained a muscle or pulled a muscle. But yeah. That's how life goes. Life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When life pops a hip out, you just pop it back in. Okay, so here is a bracelet. See, now I feel like I'm too far. And this is a Cartier dupe. And every space is a little diamond. So you would just snap it on. That's what it would look like. It's very pretty. It's heavy. It doesn't feel like it'll just snap right off. Let me see how hard, no, it's not too hard to get off. You have to really pull it. But it kind of just, see right there? Okay, what I do? Okay, there we go. You can't see, but I just kind of snapped it on. There's a tiny little notch, and then on the other side, there's a hole. So when you close it, that little notch goes into the hole. Yeah. Right there. Then this side, little hole. So there is that, $2.47. I thought that was a good deal. I thought that was a very good deal. I think, I don't know, out of all of my stuff, I think my favorites would be the shoes, 
the first hoodie I showed you. The PJs I haven't tried on yet, but I feel like they're gonna work. I feel like they're gonna be comfortable. They feel amazing and they're short sleeve. And I like these sunglasses. I really like these. I, I need to get contacts so that I can wear them. I'm trying to figure out what this tiny little, let me put my glasses on here. I didn't wanna wear these because of the glare. Do you see? It's so strange. It's like my eyeballs are ring lights. Um, okay, they have two little two little G's on the side, maybe. I'm not really sure. I don't know, but they're cute. They're super cute. I love them. And then the watch, Amazon, $40, $39.99 for the smartwatch. And I will uh Wow, I should have said this in the beginning, that I will timestamp when I start my Timu haul. But I didn't say that because it's late and I'm sleepy and I probably won't go to bed till four o'clock anyway, but that's usually how it works. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great evening. I don't know if I'm gonna get this up tonight or tomorrow. But I do have a, a couple more hauls that I have to get out of the way. I have a get ready with me using all Timu makeup. So that should be fun. And I have another just miscellaneous random haul that I'm going to do. And I actually won Farmland. So whew, that was rough. That was probably four or five months in the making of that Farmland. But I won Farmland. So I'll show you my two gifts on that. That'll probably be in the random haul. And I think that's about it. Um, oh, I wanted to, to give a little shout out to Hey Everybody. She just lost her little fur baby, Clover. Um, she posted a really sad video the other night. And yeah, I just feel for her. And I just wish that everybody would just pray for her. I know she's going through a really hard time. I know how hard that is. So just pray for her. Um and who else did I want to give a shout out to? Oh, my girl, uh, Shenanigans. She is super cool, full of energy, uh, does Timu hauls, so you'll have to check her out, Shenanigans. And uh, that's about it, I think. I think that's it. All right, well, I hope you guys have a good evening. I'm going to go down and maybe make some hot tea or something. My throat's a little bit irritated. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I hope you have a good evening and a good rest of your week. And hopefully I will see you within a day or two with my get ready with me. I don't know if it's gonna be in the morning. Typically I'm not a morning person because I wake up late, but you know, I'm gonna get up, do my normal, morning routine and then we will we will shoot that video so that should be fun and um i think that's all i wanted to say but thanks so much for watching to the end if you watch to the end i appreciate all of you uh i more than you know i appreciate all of you everyone who subscribed i feel like you're all family to me i love chatting with you and commenting with you uh, i've even emailed a few of you which is awesome so my email is always in the description if you ever want to reach out. I'm here. So yeah, with that being said, have a good night. Thanks for watching.